Hey, what's popping? What's popping, traders? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this very powerful forex trading concept that is definitely going to turn you into a profitable forex trader. So, do smash on that like button for me, guys, as in more ways, me to continue to show up here almost each and every day for you guys, right? And don't forget, guys, that if you are a forex trader and you do not have any trading capital, you can just simply go to the forexfunder.com and get yourself a funded account, right? And you can use my coupon which is trader spin 101 and get yourself 20 percent off on each and every funded challenge that you choose to get yourself i'll definitely leave the link in this video's description without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so if you can just somehow closely look here i'm on my one hour time frame guys right i'm on my one hour time frame and if you can just somehow closely look at price let us see at what price done here let us see at, 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 at what price done there Right, just closely look at what price done. And there we go. So we can clearly see here that price is somehow creating some sort of some sort of uh, a, a double top structure right there. Price is creating some sort of double top structure right there, guys. Right, and let us just see. And then you can clearly see that this was a what this was a successful double top, as you guys can see right there. Right, but now. There's this thing or there's this way uh, of trading that is really, really amazing, guys. And, you know, before you do anything or before you take an entry on your retest or on your or, uh, or on your double top or the second leg of your double top and stuff like that, right? So you have to somehow ask yourself what the catalyst was, right? There must be a catalyst that somehow helped this move to the downward, Right? So before having to take a trade on the second leg of this double top right there, right, you must somehow get yourself a catalyst that is going to add upon price moving to the downward, right? Right? So I know that some of you guys might be confused and stuff like that on what really a catalyst is, guys. But you know, I'm just going to show you guys, right? So now, as you can see that this is just a nice double top, right? No fancy stuff and stuff like that, right? But this is what I mean. Let me just do this. This is what I mean when I say a catalyst, guys. So if you can just closely look here, you can see that price was moving to the upward, as you guys can see. And also you can see that, you know, you can just simply throw your trend line right there, right? And also you can see that here we did have a what? A breakout from what? From the trend line right there. Right, we did have a breakout from the trend line right there. And if we did have a breakout right there, remember guys that once a breakout happens, price is most likely to do what price is most likely to come back and retest on a particular trend line or support or, or, or resistance and stuff like that. Right. So now once we get a breakout, meaning now that we are going to do what we are going to somehow wait for a retest on this trend line, guys. Right. So beautiful stuff. Let us then play our play tool. And let us see at what then happened. And there we go, guys. Right? You can clearly see that price is now retesting what? You can clearly see that price is now retesting this broken trend line right there. But now, here is the catch, right? As price is retesting this broken trend line there, it is also giving you a what? A second leg of this double top, right? It is also doing what? It is also giving you a second leg of this double top. So now, this means now that this is going to be our catalyst of our what? Of our double top right there. Right? This is somehow going to try and force price to really, really move to the downward. This retest, right? The retest right there is going to somehow help us trade this double top successfully. Right? And as you guys can see, what then happened next, right? And as you guys can see, what then happened next, right? So this trend line right there was our catalyst. And you can clearly see that we did have ourselves a what? You can clearly see that we did have ourselves a double top right there, guys. Right? So whenever you try and you trade, try and sort of like look at what might have influenced price to move to the downward. Try as much as you can to look at what might have caused price to move to the downward. Right? Simple as it is, guys. No complications, no indicator, no nothing, right? Do not be like, okay, 
I'm going to come here. And then uh, once price comes there, uh, I wait for my candlestick pattern. And then I expect price to move to the down on the... No, try to, de try to dive deeper, bro. Try to dive deeper. Right? As price was giving me the second leg of that double top right there, it was also retesting my trend line, which acted as a catalyst, which also influenced price to move to the downward. That is how you get yourself high probability trade set types, guys. Right? That is how you get yourself what? That is how you get yourself very, very, very high probability trade set types. I think I also did mention this um, on, on, on yesterday's video. Right, I think I also did mention this on yesterday's video, whereby I was like, um, in a breakout, right? Let us just do this. Whereby I was like, okay, in a breakout, let us say that price is going to somehow give you a breakout like that. Let us just say that price is somehow going to give you a breakout and then price decides to somehow break out like that. And then as price is somehow retesting day, as price is somehow retesting day, right? Just don't look at this as just a retest, but there must also be a catalyst. How are you going to get your, uh, your catalyst? What is another thing that is going to influence price to move to the downward? Obviously, it is going to be the what? It is going to be the third touch of this trend line, right? You had your first touch there, second touch there, and as price is retesting, it is also giving you a third touch of that particular trend line right so this trend line here is acting as a catalyst it is also influencing price to respectively move to the downward right it is also influencing price to do what to respect this retest of that broken trend line right there right and sometimes if you do not get yourself a trend line you do price does come where well. price does somehow come to your flip zone right there right so this trend line here is also going to, to, to somehow influence price to move to the downward. Right? So this is what I call uh, uh, trading uh, uh, extremely high probability trade set types. Because, um, you know, if you, if you use things like, uh, like these guys, you know, you're most likely to win on your trades. Because you do not just only rely on on this retest you do not just only rely on this retest but you also rely on the third touch of what of this trend line right the same thing here same thing here guys right you do not just rely on the fact that this is a double top right but you also rely on the fact that price is doing what price is retesting this broken trend line right the simple as it is right so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do smash on the like button for me see you on the next one cool cool bye